Are you thinking about moving to Florida, maybe Port St. Lucie, or maybe you're just not really sure where you're going to move and you're exploring the options? Well, stick around because I'm talking about Port St. Lucie today. What's up everybody, it's April Laura, your Florida Realtor, right here in Port St. Lucie today. And if this is your first time to my channel and you wanna know everything there is about working, eating, sleeping, playing, and living in Florida and maybe in Port St. Lucie, then make sure you tap that subscribe button and ring the little bell so you're notified every time I do a new video because it's pretty much all I talk about. I'm a real estate agent with a team of agents that help people relocate to Florida and educate people on what it's like to live here. We get calls, text messages, and emails every single day and we absolutely love it. We can't help you unless you give us a call, send us a text, shoot us an email, somehow get in touch with us because we've got your back when you're moving to Florida. Now let's go talk about Port St. Lucie. Okay, so today I am talking about what it's like to live in Port St. Lucie and why you might choose to buy there. In fact, I just had a buyer from YouTube, great guy, and he came to visit to look at properties, check out the areas, and he really wanted to be in Palm Beach County, especially he really liked Boca Raton. Like I said, he'd made two visits here and we went to go see properties. He, you know, had a specific type of property in mind. He is retired and he definitely didn't want anything that he was going to have to redo, renovate. He's done that to properties many, many times in the past. And it's just not something that he wanted to undertake at this time in his life. He wanted a little bit more ease in a newer home. He was, I think, just under 400000 as far as his price point, And he didn't need a very big place, at least two bedrooms, two bathrooms, but not a condo, maybe more like a villa or a town home. A small home would be fine, but in Boca Raton for that price point, we really couldn't find a single family home that was newer or newly renovated for that price. That's just impossible. Then we looked at like some town homes and some villas and he just never really seemed like over the top excited about any of these properties. There were some that he liked better than others, but every time he left, he just, you know, wasn't 100% happy, I could tell. I'm not sad. Well, enter Port St. Lucie. The next time he has a visit here, we go up to Port St. Lucie and we explore the area, especially in the newer area, which is the Traditions area, and the Groves area. That's all newer. Traditions actually is um, 20 years old this year. It was incepted in 2003, but that was then we went through the real estate downturn and a lot of stuff was happening all around the country and in the state. And so Traditions never really took off from that time. And it's kind of had like a resurgence, rebirth, if you will, in the last 10-ish years, 10, 15 years. And now it's been booming. I mean, it's one of the biggest booming areas and growth in real estate and housing in the whole state, especially on the East Coast. So it's a really good option. The population in Port St. Lucie is just over 200,000. So it's actually much larger because Boca Raton's around 100,000. Port St. Lucie is 200,000, but it's a much larger county. It's a much larger city. So things are kind of more spread out. But getting back to the traditions area where my client really ended up loving and what he loved about it was that everything there is new. You know, most of the homes we were looking at there are new or newer. So within a five year period, they have been built. And so we were looking at resales that were really great price points. Again, we were under 400. We ended up going into contract and he closed on this beautiful 2-2 home with a garage. And you can see it is brand new. It was really nicely designed. It was really nicely staged. And that's exactly what fit his bill. He is so happy. He got everything he wanted. He did not have to sacrifice anything. The only thing he did was change the location from the South in Boca Raton in Palm Beach County to Port St. Lucie in St. Lucie County. Although the city knew that it would be growing, it just didn't realize the type of boom that's happened in the last few years. So it's really growing so rapidly that the city kind of has to catch up on, like I said, 
policing, parks is a big one, and schools. So, you know, there might be a little bit of growing pains. I mean, that does happen when a city really explodes like that. The city kind of has to catch up as far as making sure that the residents have everything that their tax dollars pay for, right? So all of the amenities in the area. But it is a great area. I even know a lot of people that are moving from the south, from south, south Florida, up to the Port St. Lucie area because again, the prices are much better. What you get for your money is gonna be newer. It's not gonna be as old. And the area around there, especially on the west side, it's all new. Definitely an option. Now, whether you are retired or a young family, there's something for everyone in Port St. Lucie. There are quite a few 55 and better communities, active lifestyle, lots of amenities, great walking trails, biking. I know so many people that live in that area and they don't even use their car to go places. They either you know, use a golf cart or they take their bikes or they walk. You're definitely gonna have a very active outdoor lifestyle. So hopefully you like that, whether you wanna golf, tennis, pickleball, you know, play cards, do amenities at the clubhouse. There's all sorts of things to do, cooking classes and all kinds of things. Or if you just want a turnkey home with not a lot of things at your house, like a pool and things like that that you have to upkeep, but you have it at the clubhouse that you pay for monthly and you can just leave the home, lock it up and go. Most of these newer homes are being built with hurricane impact glass or some kind of protection. So when you go away, you don't have to worry about securing your home for a storm. It really makes ease of living if you're somebody who wants the home base to be in Florida, but also be able to travel. Been a huge draw for young families as well. Again, newer homes, great price points, and good schools. There's great amenities right there in the traditions area. I mean, it is a master plan community. They have all types of amenities for the kids and all types of things to do for young families. Again, a very active outdoorsy lifestyle which is awesome. I'm gonna show you now some of the homes that we were looking at in Boca Raton, just so you can see a comparison. So here's an example of like a couple of the listings in Boca Raton. Nothing wrong with these, but you can see that they're older, carpet, you can see the kitchen is definitely older. It looks like it has been redone, but it's not like a new home. And then there was another one here that I actually really liked this one. The layout was very nice. It had a little courtyard when you walk in, which was nice. I really like this one, it had vaulting at the ceilings, but, and it was in good condition in general, but it's older. You know, it has the carpet, look at the kitchen is older, it hasn't been redone. So these were the things that he was noticing. So here's one in Port St. Lucie, not brand new, but you can see that it's just a little bit more updated. And that's, those are the differences, newer, nicer, kitchens, newer, nicer flooring, bathrooms. Here's another one listed at 380. Okay. Just updated, much more updated as you can see. So that's really kind of the difference. And this is the home that he ended up closing on, which is really cute. It's very modern. It was a two, two 1634 living square feet. And you know, you can see also that it has a, a two car garage and just really, really nice. How nice it is inside. You know, you have the updated flooring. They had it staged really well too. Open concept, really, really cute home. You have all the recessed lighting and pendant lamps, really very cute. Look at the bathroom is brand new. So, you know, he ended up closing at 375,000. I mean, that is, I just think this was such a great buy. I wanted to make sure that you guys are definitely keeping your options open when it comes to picking location and getting the most for your dollar. But in order to find that perfect place that you may be thinking of or wanting to go see, or maybe you just have questions about, make sure you give us a call, send us a text, shoot us an email, somehow get in touch with us because we've got your back when you're moving to Florida. And until next video, I'll catch you later. Now, I feel like that was all too long. Now, not condo, no, no, not. The population in, um, wait, there's actually, mm, edit that, you know, uh, you don't have to worry about
Let me start that over. No, I don't want to say any of that.